women have learned that I'm going to be all right, me and my son, with or without you. So black women have been conditioned, unfortunately, because of the black family issues, been conditioned to say, I'm going to have my baby anyway. I'm going to be all right anyway. It's the white woman that's sitting up talking about, let me get the abortion, because they train their young girls that if you have a baby, a ready-made baby, you are now damaged. So this is what we know based on facts. So I just want to be clear. I understand the abortion issue, yeah. and I tell Democrats all the time... But sisters, I want to be clear, on. I wasn't saying that that I know, was what I know, but I just want to be clear, because I don't want that stigma out there just running with the trolls in the comments. Uh, yeah. I want to be clear that black women are not the ones that's why you don't see us in the cat hats and I'm all of it talking about abortion. Are the ones they're promoting this too yeah but you're no going to die but, and, and, that, and that's where i'm and disagreeing with you because the is. thousands of black the thousands of women that are out protesting for abortion are black are white women and that's the bottom line black women that we need right but abortions. it's white women though but we ain't out there though sis so let's be but clear they're telling us that but they, we, who gives a damn what they tell us we want to be clear so how did this become to the yeah but we that's not move the goal the bottom line is black women are not advocating for abortion but i agree and i don't like them and i challenge Exactly. They, baby, listen, black women been doing what we want to do. White women don't tell us what to do. We tell white women to do. Okay. So let's be clear about I don't know what kind of black women you are, I but mean, we the type black we I, I wanna be clear. To tell you, but it's important that we be clear about that though. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We gotta talk about one of the wildest panels I've ever seen in my life on Revolt TV, starring Teslin Figaro, who is the host of this event. If you guys aren't familiar with Teslin Figaro, she is the same woman that was extremely rude to Vivek Ramaswamy when he went on The Breakfast Club, okay? This woman is extremely insufferable, okay? And she's going to make this panel, which is supposed to be a debate between black conservatives and black liberals on the issues in response to the presidential debate between President Trump and Kamala Harris, one of the worst panel discussions I've ever seen in my life, okay? It is extremely unprofessional. And quite honestly, Revolt TV, you should be ashamed of yourself for allowing this woman to host events like this and to paint the black community in a negative light in regards to how we have what is supposed to be a civil discussion about politics and the issues, okay? And it is really the fault of this host here, uh, Tesla Figaro. She's really the main problem here because she is an absolute terrible moderator. And honestly, Revolt TV should be ashamed of themselves for allowing her to do this. And I want to talk about it, but before we get into it, I want to tell you guys who's on the panel so you guys know what's going on here. This is the conservative side. On the right, you have Michaela Montgomery, who has been an activist for the Trump campaign uh, in Atlanta. Okay, you have uh, Azad Ahmadi, who's also a black conservative activist as well, too. And you have Young Jock, who's a liberal rapper, so it seems. And you have this other random dude who you'll figure out very quickly why he's voting for Democrats, why he supports the Democrat Party. And then you have Tesla Figaro here in the middle. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mother and my father are from the Caribbean. So they are immigrants in this country. They didn't take, first of all, they're black immigrants. So the idea that Donald Trump is questioning VP Harris's race Jamaicans are some of the blackest people I know. So Jamaicans are some of the blackest people I know. <laughs> As if all Jamaicans are black. Okay, that's not true. Jamaican is a nationality, not an ethnicity. And also, furthermore, none of the things that you're saying are proof and evidence that Kamala Harris is black. Because when people refer to black Americans, what they actually really are referring to are people who have ancestry that goes back multiple generations within the United States of America, which is something that Kamala Harris does not have, right? She does not have that. So again, I love how these people like to frame these arguments, but they can't get around the fact that Kamala Harris is not black in like the sense that we all kind of know what the term black American means or refers to. Let's first, let's start with that. Also, I think it's important that when we're talking about immigration, there's several things that's wrong with immigration in this country. One, the Republican Party, because they have no ideas, they like to pit people against one another. And so they use people coming here from other countries that they have intentionally destabilized, right? Why are these people coming to America? And it's Democrats, too. Under Democratic administrations, U.S. foreign policy causes people from Central and South America to come here because we have destabilized their countries intentionally. Go all the way back to Ronald Reagan, okay? This is nothing new. So the idea that 
we are saying, oh, these, we're, they're bringing all these people here. Well, if America minded its own business and wouldn't go stirring up shit in other people's countries, <laughs> those people would probably stay where they were at. Yeah, so what he's referring to is the Monroe Doctrine and the neo-colonialism that took place in Latin America when the U.S. was intervening throughout the 21st century in all types of Latin American conflicts that people argue, liberals tend to argue, destabilized the region and that caused long-term instability and economic depression and uh, a lot of uh, regional conflicts and that's why the illegals are currently coming to the United States, right? This is the argument that they make, okay? And they say, because we intervened and we caused all this stuff, and it's all the U.S.'s fault, right? The evil U.S., we must now take in the illegals, okay? And I just reject that because that's not something that I supported, right? I did not vote for that, okay? That's not something that I wanted, right? Uh, no, okay? I feel like we don't owe anybody anything. And ultimately the problems in these countries need to be fixed by the people in those countries, okay? And just because the US may have wrecked somebody else's country, that doesn't mean you allow all their people into our country to wreck our country. When, again, I didn't vote for that, right? I wasn't alive when all this stuff was happening, okay, for the most part. So, hey, you know, I'm just saying, it's not something that I signed up for. Therefore, I am not obligated to support it. I don't think the country is obligated to have open borders because of some guilt that liberals have for U.S. foreign policy. So that's how I feel about it. And I don't care if you call me an asshole. I don't care if you say I'm immoral. I don't give a damn, okay? I don't care. We should not be taking in illegal immigrants into this country the way that we are right now. Shouldn't happen. Oh, oh. Yeah, so uh, as it relates to as it relates to immigration, I, I think it's a really, really, uh, I, th I think it's a really, really funny subject, right? Uh, the very folks that say year over year that uh, that they can't um, that they can't give resources, right, or they, you know reparations and everything else to Black Americans in all the blue cities across America, uh, they found a way to give immigrants, illegal immigrants, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in cities like Chicago. Most recently in states like uh, California, the state Senate passed a bill to, uh, to grant 0% interest, uh, interest loans, zero down, plus $150,000, I believe it's a tax credit. Yeah. The, the reality in this situation is that um, there is a group of folks that under the Biden and Harris administration have been brought into this country uh, to offset the vote. And mm -hmm. that is a legitimate issue for black Americans today and we need to deal with it. And oh, by the way, in the process of that, we've got undocumented, undocumented terrorists that have come into this country that have put our nation at risk. And I, wanna, I have a, a, a legitimate issue with that. The biggest people Piggy on the terrorist watch list are white supremacists. Well, That's I want to piggyback off Every terrorist that. agency in the United States <laughs> says that the biggest threat to America is white supremacists, actually. Okay, well, to piggyback... No, the biggest threat to America are the woke supremacists, okay? Those people, uh, they don't get put on the watch list because it's okay for them to commit acts of terrorism in the name of social justice. Back off that, just discussing the resources. As a former foster child, had I aged out, I would have only left the orphanage with a garbage bag full of clothes, and they would have given me a $700 check a month and told me good luck. So I think that it's disgusting, a spit in the face to kids like me who didn't ask to be born into the situations that we were born into, that we would never be able to qualify for the resources that are literally being given to somebody else. Additionally, let's talk about the reasoning why they're coming over here, because we keep talking about the type of people that are coming over here. Let's look about the reasoning why they're even letting them come over here. Black people are no longer fearing that the Republicans are going to take away our right to vote. These voter suppression arguments are no longer working. Yep. Yet if you can threaten an entire demographic of people, Ten, it's at 10 million now. We can only imagine what it would be in the next four years if this woman wins this office. In which case, now if you tell that large of a demographic of people that they will lose all of their benefits and their citizenship if they were to vote for a Republican, you can guarantee that you now have a new loyal voting base. So in the same way that black people have been prioritized last, every time we're prioritized first during campaign season, prioritized last during an administration. We're going to go see us be kicked out of the room. We won't even be on the list once these migrants have come over here. Here. There's already 10 million. There's only 49 million of us here. There's only 49 million of us here. Yep. And then if you think about the voter apathy that exists within the black community, yep. there's not 49 million of us voting. But you can guarantee every single one of those illegals who can get out there and vote Absolutely. is going to go yeah. vote. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, so I love this point that's being made, okay? Because when people want to have this conversation around 
pro-black, right? What they actually really mean is pro-democrat, okay? And in most cases, really pro-progressive, okay? As you know, you see that one of these guys here, okay, who is woke on the panel, clearly is progressive because he basically is trying to justify open borders by saying, well, hey, we're guilty, so we should just let all the illegals into the country, right? This is his argument. But anyways, the argument that Michaela is making here is that, listen, people always want to talk about resources for black people, right? And how Democrats are promising resources for black people, but they never give out these resources for black people. Now, all of a sudden, you have this new class of people that come in and they're basically about to outnumber black people and they're getting these resources that Democrats have promised to black people, okay? Now, they're not necessarily saying that they agree with the handouts in and of themselves, right? In regards to, okay, well, you know, black people should get handouts as well too. What they're saying is that Democrats promise handouts. They don't give the handouts to the people that they promise they're going to give them to, but yet they give them to people who are not even from this country, not even citizens. And those people are quickly replacing black people to the point where black people will become politically irrelevant, right? You will not have a seat at the table. Right now, you only have a seat at the table because there's not enough illegals in the country that have been granted amnesty and ultimately have become citizens to be able to vote yet, right? But once those people are able to vote, which is the ultimate goal of the Democrat party, you're done, right? You you won't have any relevance whatsoever, okay? And, and this is why I always say these people that claim they're pro, they're not actually really pro-black. Again, they're pro-Democrat. They're pro whatever the Democrat party wants to do, whatever progressives want to do, because there's nothing pro-black about illegal immigration, okay? When you look at the jobs that the illegal immigrant men are competing for, those are the same jobs that are occupied by black men okay that is what trump means by the black jobs then you can cry racism you can be offended you can get butt hurt but that's just the facts right those are the facts okay it causes a depression in the wages because the illegal immigrants will undercut black workers black male workers more specifically and that will make it harder for black males to get jobs now what happens when black males can't get jobs just like if anybody can't get a job what happens well they turn to a life of crime, okay, in order to try to get by. So you guys should be able to imagine the type of vicious cycle that this creates, okay? This is why when the wokes come out and say, well, who's going to cut your grass, <laughs> right? If you get rid of all the illegals, well, I would hope that black people would be doing those jobs, right? There should be no shade in black people uh, mowing the lawn, right? Cutting the grass, doing whatever jobs that people want to stereotype that illegals do. Why do I say that? Because I think it's better for black people to own those businesses, okay? It's no shame in having those types of jobs. I'd much rather see black people have those businesses and have those opportunities than illegals. Now, what's happening is that illegals are coming over here and they're out competing black folk at that level and for those jobs. So what is happening is that the more that this illegal immigration problem gets worse, the more you're going to see this start to happen where a lot of black folks are going to be displaced and eventually black people are going to become entirely irrelevant in american politics okay i mean obviously i think black folks will always have impact on culture but in regards to political relevance economic relevance it's going to be all gone right in, in a matter of decades okay if this problem continues but see as a conservative, somebody that believes in this type of stuff, they say, oh, well, you're anti-black, <laughs> right? I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I actually support policies that are good for America. And I think what's best for America, which is less illegal immigrants, is also what's best for black people, right? But people don't think like that. They don't think like that. So that's my whole thing with the illegal immigration stuff. I think it is a huge problem for people, especially at the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder. Well, well when we have more time, if they're not U.S. citizens, yeah. they're well, literally well, voting in our elections. I, but I, I do. Well, the I, left is working to, to make them citizens. Yeah. 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 Not America, even just make them that's citizens. That's they're the getting you IDs as soon as they get over here. Citizen. Are they illegal right. or are they not? They're right. illegal, so they and they're be, voting they in our elections. They can't be one or the other. They got to be. Are they illegal so or not? So right now, should they be citizens or not? But no, no, no. We're talking about this election right now. Okay, the should is what's driving the vote. The should is what's driving the vote. Michaela, I would like to ask you a question. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. In which state? California. 
Okay. The same California that is giving $150,000 to this? illegal migrants. But if zero my percent, sister, who just aged out of foster care but they two years ago, you she was Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I agree with giving black, black Americans the money for it, but I do want to ask you this, because, again, this is where this Republican talking point always gets me confused. You were aged out at what age? No, I didn't age out. I was adopted. Okay. I'm talking about the people who don't. Okay. Who but do when age you said out. wasn't born, didn't ask to be born in the situation they yeah, were. Yeah, like writing. my mom was on crack and my dad was in and out of prison. Right, right, right. That's not so, a situation I should have to pay for it yet for whatever that's right, reason. But the I government also, didn't feel bad enough for me to give me or my family those resources. Ma'am. Yet. And then leave immigrant. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma hmm? That's a point. Ma'am. I just want to know, when I hear the Republican talking point, I just want to know mm -hmm. when they say, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. I did. When that. they say, I didn't. Let me finish. I'm talking about mm -hmm. to people that didn't who were born because we talked about this before. People that were born with incarcerated parents, people mm -hmm. that were born, people that were born in, in destitute situations. Because mm -hmm. your brother would always say, "You have an opportunity to get." I'm not talking about you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, what do you say to the Republican that says that despite the situation you were born in, because none of that is systematic, none of it matters. I'm giving the opposing side. None of it matters. Pull yourself about a bootstrap. You're not a victim. Don't be a victim. Don't cry. What is the what is your answer to a lot of conservatives that say, regardless of the situation you were born in, that you didn't ask to be born? In? I'm not talking about immigration. I'm talking about black Americans. Yeah. What is your answer to that? Because Republicans say all the time to I stop being a victim and to pull yourself up. I genuinely about a believe that once you stop believing that everything is set up against you and that you can't win, but just you will a minute win. ago you said it was set up against you because they didn't ask to be born in the situation. They were asked to be born into this situation, yet for whatever reason they're not offered the same resources that but somebody I'm not talking else about the resources. who also. The conservatives okay, say pull yourself up by the bootstrap. They say mm -hmm. don't worry about resources. Okay. Conservatives so, say don't worry about resources. They say don't worry about it, regardless so, if the parent was the born Democrats on crack. being empowered, ma'am. Okay, we're that, talking I about. Your con I'm no, we're talking, we're talking about, about context. Okay. Conservatives say all the time. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps, Including this correct? brother. Correct. Pull yourself. Okay. So I'm and saying I'm regardless saying of the Democrats whose daddy are was willing on to crack, help these people pull themselves not, up by the bootstraps, I didn't ask you that. They should be willing to help others That's pull right, themselves up by the That's right, but I didn't ask you that. Now, this isn't a Republican talking about because Republicans wouldn't give it to anybody. Right, I know. Okay, so there's that. I came up, I didn't have to get any of that, and yet I walked into a six-figure job. I dropped out of college and did the same thing, raising my daughter by myself. I don't believe that telling yourself things aren't going to work out for me or, oh, my God, God, I'm not I telling them. I'm just once you believe that that is your I'm life. I'm not talking about believing. You tell I'm yourself about, I'm gonna win. I'm right. gonna win. We got you're that. Win. But I'm just saying people are born. I was just wanting to see your opinion on people are born into. I went into to the illustrious situation. Clark Atlanta University, yeah. and they told me to find a way or make one. Right. So anybody born I believe, in any situation in will do just then, that. Then ain't no point in talking about that destitute situation. It is. Let's move on because right now people are being allocated resources. Let's let we have people who need those resources. No, but the conservatives say we're talking about the fact that we're not prioritizing American citizens. No, but that we're talking about we're not prioritizing American. You heard me citizens. say at the beginning of what I said that, that I believe it should go to American citizens first. Okay. I said that, ma'am. Okay. I just asked so you I'm what pointing was out the fact that when we're talking about immigration, we understand that but Republicans that would you. not give out these resources. That's all I wanted you to say. My point is Democrats are only That's proposing that these you. resources go to a Sis. certain group and black people need to pay attention to the fact that y'all won't get those resources. Ma'am. That's the point. Y'all move on. Ma'am. I'm right. Move we on. said it's not about right or wrong. It is right. No, it's not. It is right. I just want to know. Black people won't get those resources and therefore you should not vote for a Democrat who will our foster children, veterans who lost limbs fighting for this country, veterans like you and this man right, here, right. not get those We agree. Right. We agree. Girl, right. relax. So if Democrats we agree. Are... <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure you guys are picking up what's going on here. Okay. So what is happening here is that you have Tesla Figaro, who, again, is supposed to be a moderator. Okay. She's not supposed to be really sticking her opinion into these conversations, but she is. Okay. She's basically trying to make this a 3v2 debate, even though it's supposed to be 2v2. She's sticking her opinion in there because she's basically trying to conflate this idea that because um, Michaela Montgomery is making a point that, well, Democrats, again, tell black people, listen, we're going to give you reparations. Okay, we're going to give you all these handouts. And then they break their promise and they turn around and give it to illegals. That is proof that Democrats don't actually believe in giving you these resources, right? They will rather give the resources to another group of people than to actually help out the American people. And if Democrats are going to give out handouts, like if you're going to give out handouts, it should go to the American people, right? It should not go to illegals. She's not advocating for handouts. She's saying, if you're going to give them out, right, then the American people should get them, which I think is a perfectly valid point. Now, Tesla Figaro here is trying to get a gotcha Instead of actually really trying to understand what she's saying, because there is no gotcha if you understand what she's saying, but because Tesla is not interested in actually listening to her guests, which is her job, right? She rather just debate her guests. So she responds by saying, well, Republicans say that you have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And since Republicans don't believe in any handouts, then how can you criticize Democrats for not giving out handouts? 
Well, again, that is a misunderstanding of the actual argument, right? The argument is against Democrats who are breaking their promises, right? That's the whole point. The point is that Democrats are breaking their promises. The point is not that Republicans are going to give you the handouts and that Democrats are not. No, that's not the point of the argument. The argument is that Democrats promise handouts, they break their promise, and then they give the handouts to people who are not even citizens of this country, people who don't even pay taxes, right? That's the point. So there is no hypocrisy there because the point of bringing that up says nothing about Republicans and what Republicans want to do. Republicans are consistent in the sense that we don't think that illegals should be getting the handouts and we definitely should not be giving handouts based off race. Now, it does not mean that Republicans do not believe in some form of government assistance or a social safety net, which is also, I think, an idea that is getting conflated here by Tesla and Figaro, which is this idea that Republicans believe in no social safety net. That's, that's not true, actually. Uh, Republicans do believe in a social safety net, but we believe in a social safety net that is just enough to help people uh, while at the same time not giving them a free ride off of taxpayer dime to the point where they don't need to work, right? Everybody should want to work and be incentivized to work and to contribute to society. But when it gets to the point where you have people who are living off of everybody else and they're taking more than they're giving back, that's an issue, okay? That is the issue. Democrats just want to give out handouts to the point where everybody's dependent on the government. We don't want people dependent on the government. Yes, the government should be there to help people when they're down on their luck, okay, when they lose their job, okay, when they're going through hard times, but it should be temporary, very temporary. It should not be something that is permanent that people rely on. Um, unless again, you're elderly and you literally can't work or you're disabled and you literally can't work. But if you are an able-bodied man, especially if you're an able-bodied man, uh, you should be working, right? You definitely should be working. Wait, giving them out, don't don't let, then why haven't the Democrats given them to black people? I'm not talking about no Democrats. I asked them what was they giving them to black people. Is something wrong with her? No. I'm no, asking, is something wrong with her? Y'all see how she's trying to switch it to make no, it seem I like something's wrong with me question. when all I'm trying to do is point out the fact that black relax. people are not being prioritized in the administration. Relax. Therefore, when you ask about what relax. Republicans are doing for us, relax. what are Democrats doing for y'all? Besides nothing. putting nothing. you last. Nobody Democrats asked you that. Thank you. Nobody asked you that. What I'm asking you now is to let young people. Young please go ahead and share your thoughts. I'm asking you to share your thoughts. I didn't ask you any of that. Girl, relax. I had to put it in there because I saw where you were trying to pigeonhole it and I wasn't going to ask you a simple question. You the one that was at no. Chick-fil-A, wasn't you? No. Yeah, it was okay, me. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought so. What does that mean? Does that prove no. a point of some sort? No, I just want to know. Since it's a I simple question. Why y'all can't ask a simple question? Right? What's wrong with it? Let's let this let this let this let 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 finish. finish. Girl, relax. No, but people trying to associate Chick-fil-A. No, I asked because I wanted to make sure there was one because you was in that. But I was also the girl who spoke at the rally. Yeah, and so was I. I'm also the girl who mobilizes the HBCU students every year. I'm also the one who provides internships and jobs to these kids. So stop acting like all I am is a girl that showed up at Chick-fil-A. Do you want to do the receipts again? I had the opportunity to meet a president and it happened to be a Chick-fil-A. I'm going. I'm going. If I'm going to meet a president, you're going to lose their power. How many people in this room have been elected? Okay, can you not hear me? Now, the reason why this is happening is because Tesla, as a moderator, continues to try to stick her opinion in the conversation instead of letting her guests talk, make their point, and then pass the conversation on to the next person. No, she continues to try to get the last word. And it's like, you, you don't have to have the last word. Your job as moderator is not to debate. Okay. But that, that is what they want to do. And this is why I really, again, this is why I think a lot of these, these panels are a waste of time to be quite honest with you, because it's an ambush, right? It's an ambush. They're not trying to let black conservatives talk. They're not trying to let you get your points in. And when you do get your points in, they always want to try to debate you like the moderators, right? The moderators want to debate you. And, it's just an ambush, okay? So you can see how this is becoming extremely chaotic. Me to ask, cause if I, I ran in a truck at a gas station, you I would have been just as Girl, excited. Relax. So trying to we act get it. Like... You ride for Trump. We get it. You, we get it. Oh, you know, I respect high we offices, and therefore, it. yes, I would be honored it's to meet a president, they regardless of who it is. Go ahead. They are literally, the people are literally asking you to stop so oh, we can well, move you can on. Tell them, they didn't ask you to stop, but well, I have to. It's my show. See, that's the problem. You can do Okay. Oh my God! Good job, good job, good job. So we shouldn't be going back and forth with the moderator. But no, okay. actually, you should. It's okay. Actually, you should. I didn't see that happen at the debate, to, but okay. Together, so we, all right. There's some things we can all align. On. No, no, no. Respectfully, respectfully, right? 
When I when I first got the opportunity to talk, I spoke on the concept of us, you know, being passionate about what we believe in our beliefs. And my the simplest assessment that I could come up with tonight from being back in the green room watching y'all before I got out here, I realized we all get riled up for, for both of these parties, right? And the only time I seen everybody calm down and all that shit sub subside where we could talk like adults and actually listen is when we all realized ain't nobody really did shit for us when it comes to reparations. And that's when y'all all got quiet. When you start, no, no, no. When y'all start talking about these immigrants getting it all, they're getting reparations. So really, you know basically, that, he don't believe in reparations. But okay, even so if he know. doesn't, even if he doesn't, I noticed the room, the air changed, the climate immediately. It got stiff for a second, like, mm -hmm. like oh, now everybody agreed. Ain't neither side done any of that for any of us. Why, but he don't believe in reparations. So, It'll so get back I, I, it, 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 I started to realize, so I started to realize that Obama, about him. this is where the divisiveness listen, comes. Listen to this. Listen, you see this woman? You see this woman? She is interrupting her opinion. Interrupting comments, even when this dude talking. Right? Even when the liberal talking. I'm saying that. At that one moment when we all came to this, this, this point of realizing that ain't nobody got no reparations in this room. He nobody look like us. But, but it don't matter if he believe in it or not. I noticed that everybody in the room was like, oh shit. Everybody else but getting, but we but ain't. Getting so are we all y'all, getting played no, on either side of say, it? So but y'all, they never say, no, this is important. Because this is why we keep me and this brother dance and do this all I the see, time. I see, me, I see. We do this all the time. I don't have no problem saying Democrats ain't shit, Republicans ain't shit. Well, my problem with a lot of, because I'm independent. But no, my you're not. <laughs> you're progressive. You're progressive. You're a socialist. That's not independent. I love these people say I'm independent, but they're progressives. Amazing. They're just the Democrat Party voters. Problem with a lot of Republicans is they never acknowledge that Republicans also. That's not what he's saying. Okay. They're not saying that, oh, we don't get what we want from either party. They're saying, which is why I invited them here to stump down hard for Trump. They are saying that the Republican Party is better. They are saying that Trump is better. It they is. are saying is. this brother said Democrats. I admit Democrats don't do what they should do. It's usually on this side of the aisle where they actually say we don't do both sides. On this side, you do not get acknowledgement on what Republicans don't do. You heard the brother proud to say, ain't nobody gonna get to be in the big house, but uh, baby, that ain't no flex. That ain't no flex. Ain't nobody trying to be in the house. I'm in the field all day. So, so the point, so what I'm saying is I, that that's not true. When we uh, talk about reparations, it'll get just back turned up. Yeah, so I know but, you but, want but, a peaceful, but, calm no, environment, no, 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 but unfortunately, no, that's just about, not no, where we at. It's not about peaceful and calm, but I, I sat here and I watched when y'all start talking about the immigrants and people, uh, no matter what side you're on, red or blue, Everybody felt the same. It was the same context of like saying, uh -uh. "All these people getting, and we still ain't got." It. Yeah. So then, wait. But, but then, say and, and once live, that, once that point got pushed off of this little table right here, off the little coffee table, it dissipated. Shit went right back right. up because it went back to going but to opposing sides. I know, but, 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 but Jack, what but I'm trying to that's, tell that's, you that's is, because I think there's some things he that believes we can, that we can Republican, they on. believe Between that Republicans him, is the way. And, and it's, far, yeah. it's, it's safe but, to say that you're for, you're further, much further leaning left than I am. Absolutely. I think there are some things that he and I can agree to, and that's where we need to go in our community. We don't have to agree on all things, but we do need to start finding some alignment. And so here's where I would say, yeah. that brother just sat here and told me that his parents immigrated to this country and took no handouts, and my father immigrated to this country and did the same. And fast food didn't exist for my mother. They both went to HBCUs, they both worked two jobs, they both put themselves to school, and they both did a great job with me, my two sisters, bought homes, multiple homes, sold them, and built wealth. And it sounds like to me, your parents, who had the same work ethic, turned you into a, a relatively, uh, I'm gonna use the word successful, or productive citizen in this country. Sure. And so, irregardless of whether I'm on the left or I'm in the right, we got to do a better job what this brother was saying earlier, finding some alignment, well, hold on, hold on, finding some alignment, because if this young lady goes to the White House, or Ted's you the one, and you go into the I White House, and the rest of us don't, and the rest of us don't, it's it, what we need in our community is black Americans okay. that are going to represent the concerns of all black right. Americans, not just those on the left right. or the right or but independent. Brother, the problem that we have every single time is you never talk about what the Republicans do wrong. And I'm going to keep <laughs> pressing you that all the time, because although he said, yes, his parents picked himself about a booster, he's also a Democrat that believes in a safety net to give the resources Democrat. to those who were born in difficult <laughs> situations. <laughs> and we've had this conversation. <laughs> yeah, so again, that's what I'm talking about in regards to her misunderstanding conservative ideology. She doesn't actually really understand that conservatives don't actually believe in getting rid of 
all social safety nets, okay? Conservatives and libertarians are not the same, okay? That's one area where they're different in the sense that conservatives will accept government intervention, uh, government policies being put in place to uh, help out those who are at the bottom, okay? To help them lift themselves up by their bootstraps, but it's not permanent. It's not something that people should be reliant on. It should be used in emergencies, right? This is what Republicans, conservatives believe in, okay? Not saying that people shouldn't get resources, but you have to be fiscally responsible with resources because resources are limited. Resources are scarce, right? So you just can't give out resources inefficiently in ways that are wasteful that don't actually do what it's intended to do, right? So anyways, um, that's my reaction to this conversation. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.